Hello everybody. For those of you who might not know me, my name is John Meddings and I've got the pleasure of being the Dean of the Cummings School of Medicine. And today I'm introducing what we think is our most unusual Celebration of Excellence event. And it's unusual, not because we haven't got great people this year, we always do, but because we're doing this in the midst of a pandemic and unfortunately, we can't get together to celebrate each other the way we normally would. But I'm still incredibly proud to be presenting and introducing these people to you by way of video. So although this year, the 13th Celebration of Excellence is different from past celebrations, it's equally important to me that we reflect on our accomplishments, those that we have as individuals and those that we have collectively as a school. Folks, it has been a great year and there are some great people to be talked about. Receiving this award is really about the team and this award, I would never have received this award if it wasn't for all the great people that I get to work with every day in order to put these really fun projects together. This award is really important because it recognizes a lot of the amazing work that's going on at the University of Calgary in teaching and learning. And it allows my team and I to become part of this national community of practice of like-minded folks, all working towards the same goals in improving learning and improving teaching across the country. Being recognized as a top 40 under 40 is an incredibly important to me. When I look at the past awardees, I see groups of people who have done amazing things for their community and are quite inspiring. And it's very touching to be recognized for both my research and my community service. This recognition is important because the work that I do is focused on studying brain development in kids, um, how the brain matures and how it may be vulnerable to neurodevelopmental challenges and mental illness. And doing this research in kids is challenging, but it's really important because there's a window for intervention opportunities that can help kids um, for the rest of their lives. It's a pretty big honor. Um, Thomas Dignan was an amazing individual that I had a, a great opportunity to, to get to know over the years. And it also, um, it also is, uh, it reflects the, um, the, a lot of work from a host of people that put in the nomination. So I'm fully thankful and um, honored again by uh, receiving this award. I think it's important because um, it recognizes um, people that are working hard to make a change in the unique field of Indigenous health and the uniqueness comes from the um, addressing colonization, um, understanding and, and pushing against racism and um, being respectful and having inclusiveness of culture. So that, that creates this complex sort of skill set and uh, approach that, that whether it's with education or systems. Um, it is uh, what we have to do and it takes a lot of time and effort and um, we often don't get a chance to, uh, to, to be acknowledged. So this is, I think, an important thing for, for um, Indigenous physicians across Canada to have that, that, that chance to be, to be heard and to be celebrated. Mm -hmm. 